And we're back. Listen, welcome to the Culture and Cannabis Podcast. My name is JC Coates. It's going to be an incredible podcast today. Listen, we're doing a little something new today. We're live on the Instagram. We're live on the Facebook right now. We're also live on the YouTube, the Culture and Cannabis YouTube. Guys, listen, we're just going live everywhere. So, um, you know, sit back, enjoy. We're going to, you know, ask me some questions. We're going to dive into a bunch of questions later. Um, but listen, I'm rolling solo. Uh, my, my, my partner, my ride or die full-time Tony is up in Reno right now. We're doing a pop-up um, at, at Bloom Reno, um, selling a bunch of um, our culture and cannabis flour, selling a bunch of our culture and cannabis pre-rolls out there. And, and listen, our, our pop-up experiences, they're not your average uh you know, experience, right? It's not just a pop up. It's it's a whole deal, right? Tony's out there. He's got the the food truck. He's got the DJ. Um, he's got hell, uh, a bunch of like you know deals on the pre rolls and, and the culture and cannabis flowers. Let's check in on him, man. Uh, Ch- Tony, are you out there, brother? Tony, oh there you are. What's hey. good, brother? Hey, what's good? How are we doing? Man, we're, we we're go- here at, we're- blo- at Bloom. Nice. We're Look, live. Looks we got good. JP, got the DJ. I see that. You got the shooter there. You got the, the food truck, the DJ. That's great, man. I mean, listen, we're just trying to take it up a notch. Everything that we do, you know what I mean? Just playing that value card. Take it one step further, right? Let's talk about it. What, what you exactly. got going on over there today? So today we got the uh, we got a pop-up going on here. at uh, I don't even want to call it a pop-up. But it's really the culture and cannabis experience, right? Um, this is something that we're going to start doing all across Nevada, as you know, JC. Um, but we're going to have music, food. Um, we're going to have uh, great deals on cannabis. We're going to have free papers and a ton of other stuff as well. Nice. Nice. So that's a trip, man. I mean, we, we were... We were um together this morning right and and the hustle is real right we had uh i think some yeah. meetings with planet 13 um th- this morning talking about our products over there and what we can do uh to create some more value and and then you hopped on a plane now you're up in reno man talk to us about that hustle life man how's it feel L- listen when i first got up here i just i just feel excited all the time you know what i'm saying because the difference is is that like when you're hustling for somebody else it sucks right because right. you're doing someone else's work when you're hustling for yourself, it makes it a lot more fun. And uh, I just like have a ton of energy, honestly. Like I came up here so juiced and I saw the food truck, saw the DJ, and we're just getting it popping. Honestly, people are asking for down the music, but we don't care because we want to we be bumping, right? Nice, nice. Yeah, that's what it is, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, the hustle, you know, talking about it, it feels good to, to, to hustle on your own, man. And, and man, you know, that's that's kind of like those principles that I live by, brother. And I know you get to hear it from me every day, but if you're not creating for yes. yourself, right, you're not really creating uh, that, that true fulfillment and happiness for yourself. And, uh, man, it, it's it's been a pleasure to be able to create with you and, and go along this, this hustle journey over there. How, how, was the, how was the flight? Was it just a quickie, just up flight? and down? Yeah, quickie, man. It was it was a quickie, brother. It was uh, it was a good fly. Just landed here. It's pretty smoky, but we, you know, we're popping here, man. I mean, it's just if you if you if anyone in Reno's watching right now, we're here to, from four to six, man. I mean, I flew from from Vegas today to do this pop up. You know what I'm saying? So like, right. we're just trying to show out here, and we're here at one of the best dispensaries in Northern Nevada, maybe the best dispensary in Nevada, Blue Blue Reno. Right. I mean, it is right there in Midtown on Virginia Street. I mean, it doesn't get no better than that. That's right in the in, in the thick of it all in, in, at Reno, man. Uh, so listen, I mean, we've got a lot of we're really expanding our partners up north, right? And uh, um, you know, and that's just part of the plan, right? Of just really trying to expand throughout the entire state. Um, you know, we, we we love Bloom Reno. It's kind of where we started, but we have a lot of other things going on on the product side, right? And so I know you're yes. meeting up with with um, I think Serene over the weekend. Hopefully, you run into yes. some of our people over there um, because we're going to drop some new products on on the um, production side right some new concentrates um th- let's yeah, talk about that yeah we're going to be coming out here pretty soon with serene we just got approved today for our packaging which is super exciting we're going to be doing a live resin with them um it's going to come super super clean um some of the serene's best work uh we're really excited to be coming up with them uh be on the lookout you know for more products with them with uh Vapes and other concentrates and some other production items and some Ukn items, right? Yeah. Uh, we also are going to be up here meeting with uh, uh, Mojave. Uh, they got an amazing grow up here, so you can check out with them and just everybody, man. We want to work with everybody. You know, you know, JC. We we want to be um, as uh, as agile as possible, and we want to create relationships all over the place. And we're not the type of company that looks looks for competition. We're the type of company that looks for um, partnerships. 
That's it. That's it, man. I mean, you know, can't we just all get along? Can't we just all get along, get along in, in, in the market? <laughs> I mean, that, that's great. I mean, you know, listen, when, when, when we started this whole thing, you know, we just kind of got in where we fit in, you know, and uh, it, 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 it's great to start to expand our library of products. And I cannot wait to serve the community with some of our concentrate offerings and to find a, a partner in Serene to do that. It's just incredible, um, given their reputation of, of just incredibly uh, made, you know, production items all the way across the board. So look out for the culture and cannabis live resin drop coming very very soon very I'm, I'm really excited about that what else what else we got going man we, i mean i know we got some kind of some secret products that we've been uh you know working on I, I don't, should, should we talk about it I, is it too early or i don't yeah yeah, yeah no it's too early it's, it's too, too early, early. oh the, man maybe, you know. maybe maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe the the, the product that's uh, you know based around you we can start talking about, but we have some other products just a tiny bit too early. Yeah, we're very close though. Yeah, I mean you know here's here's the thing you know we're just kind of like dropping some teasers out there, but we're committed, right? We're committed to bringing you guys new and creative some of the top quality cannabis products offered in the state, right? Um, we, you know everything that we do we put love into it. Um, we, we put a, a ton of uh, content behind it, and and we just really try to make it special so we can serve you know the people in the cannabis community here in nevada that we love so much um so yeah be on the lookout for that uh how long what's the deals over there today what, we got any deals that, that pop so up today the, the, the deals the deals we got going today is uh we got ready to roll seven gram ready to rolls um if you buy one of those you get a free free roll and then we also got half ounces for 89 dollars and uh we're also uh we're doing any first 50 first 50 people get uh free tacos man and nice. we got people in here dancing now man it's a turn up that's people what it is lit in here. Dude. We're getting lit here, bro. we'll keep we'll get after it man we'll let we'll let you get to it and uh we'll, you know appreciate the appreciate time it. travel safe and we'll, we'll catch you next time awesome. love you brother see you soon all right peace, peace. boom there you have it man full-time tony living up to his name I mean, you know, listen, we were just here this morning. Now he's up in Reno. Um, you know, I'm here doing the podcast. It's just the life that we live. It's the hustle life. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a blessing for these, those of you guys that are watching on Instagram uh, right now. Listen, we're doing a little something different. I'm on the Culture and Cannabis podcast. It's live. It's live on Facebook. It's live on, on YouTube. Um, it's live right now on my Instagram. So I appreciate you guys watching. Listen, throw, throw, throw some questions my way um, and we'll dive into that. But, uh, but listen, and, um, you know, it's been a crazy weekend, Labor Day weekend. We just had it. Um, and the, the, let's talk about the Las Vegas Cannabis Awards. I mean, we got to talk about it, right? I mean, if you're in the cannabis community in Nevada, you, you, you've heard of it. I mean, uh, sh you know, shout out to All Access Vegas and, and Sheldon just for getting the thing done, right? I mean, um, you know, all of the event marketers and all my people that are DJs out there, you know, with COVID and everything, um, you know, all these guys have been out of work, right? And, and you know, I think uh, the awards had to be scheduled and postponed and, and rescheduled. And I have just so much empathy for that, um, you know, being an event marketer by myself. But listen, they got the event done. Um, we went there. We took in a couple awards. Um, we took um, Best Award for a, a Best Event Planner and Culture and Cannabis Best, Best Event 2019. We took home awards for that. So, listen, it was a great time. Congrats to all the people who took home um, awards. There was a ton of people, and listen, there's 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 a lot of people doing amazing things in the cannabis uh, community and in the cannabis industry, and it's great to get them recognized, right? It's great to kind of, you know, pick those people out and, and you know step back and 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 you know just enjoy the work that we've done, right? Because man, you know, at the end of the day, we're working in the cannabis industry, and it's not all the way legal, right? And it's got a ton of stigma still, and there's a, a ton, a lot of work to do, but still, still people get and, and they dive in, right? They dive in, they commit to this journey, they commit to the plant, they commit to the, the industry, and you know, it's good to, to take a step back and, uh, you know, admire your work, right? And just, just say thank you. Let's see if we got any questions up in here. Um, so... Boom, 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 boom. I know, I know my people on Facebook are probably asking me some questions. I cannot see you on Facebook, but I have you on my Instagram. Let's see. What made you come up with the name culture and cannabis, right? So listen, um, you know, 
people ask me that all the time, right? Culture, culture and cannabis. How do we come up with the name? You know, what does it mean? What, what is it really? And I mean, honestly, the, the, the story goes back, right? It's just, um, you know, it was 2016. I was, um, you know, giving it, giving it a go as an entrepreneur for the first time. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was just, I knew that um, I wanted to express myself and I wasn't happy working for other people. And when it came to kind of, you know, going to work every day and building things for other people, I just got to where I was just kind of sick of it, right? And I took a, a chance to where, um, you know, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna become an entrepreneur. And I cr the first company that I created was a marketing agency. And we went around selling, um, you know, marketing services because that's the only thing that I knew how to sell. And I couldn't afford to kind of like, come, you know, buy a bunch of products. Um, so I was able to, to sell services. It was just the easiest and the cheapest thing to do. And one of the services that we, um, sold was event marketing services. And, um, at the time, one of our first clients was a dispensary here in Las Vegas. It was Pesos, Pesos, Las Vegas. Um, you got some questions over there. Um, but yeah, so they, they commissioned us to, to create an event for them and, and, and manage their social media. And the event that we created for them was, was called culture and cannabis. And we wanted to create an experience that, uh, yeah, we wanted to create an experience that, um, you know, showcase the culture, showcase the art, the music, the things that went along with the cannabis plant. And, um, honestly, like when they, when they hired me, they were like, JC, we want you to do this event. And I didn't know what, what we we're going to call the event. And, um, I mean, just to be truthfully, this is back in my drinking days. I think I was like, you know, was, you know, I wasn't, I was an entrepreneur. So I was kind of like working from home. So I was kind of like in this crazy entrepreneurial world where I was like not making a lot of money. So I was at home all the time and there was a little bit of day drinking going on. I could just remember I was just dr drinking all day and, you know, participating in things I shouldn't be participating in. And, and I, I just remember I was just pacing up and down the hall and it just hit me culture and cannabis. Right. And, um, and we just ran with it, right? And we produced that event for Pesos. Um, and then later we, we, we took the concept and we ran with it ourselves. So that's the story of how culture and cannabis uh, started. But let's, I'm gonna dive into some of these uh, Facebook questions. Uh, some of you guys that just dived in, we're trying something new, right? We're live all over the place. We're live on, on YouTube, I'm live on Facebook, I'm live on my, my personal Instagram. Um, and, and I'm rolling solo, right? So let's dive into some questions here. Um, Let's see here. What do we got here? What is my favorite project that I have worked on this year? So, I mean, look, I mean, can we talk about this year? Right. I mean, it's just, Oh, it's just been such a crazy thing. And you look on, you look on, uh, you know, social media now, and it's just a bunch of memes about how horrible this year is. And, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, had the, the, the talents and the, the work that they enjoyed doing stripped from them, right. Because of the, of the pandemic. And, and a lot of people, um, you know, had a lot of projects planned and, and they got taken from them too. And it's just horrible. Right. And, um, you know, I, it's just, but I think the, on the other side of it, there's also, you know, there, there's always a silver lining, right? And for us, we were able, you know, when I when, when I take on new projects or if I take on, um, you know, like we're going to make this certain kind of product or we're going to create this certain kind of event or this experience, right? I know going in to that experience that when it's, when I, when we're on the other side of the, the process and when it's finished and when it's created, it's going to be something completely different than what I originally had started with, right? And so just with that kind of like nimble kind of attitude where I can just kind of like, you know, maneuver and, and move at will, um, it made it kind of easy for our camp, right? When, when the pandemic came to kind of shift, right? Because listen, I had this entire year planned out, right? I had all these bookings. I had, you know, all the events in place. We had several, uh, you know, yearly sponsors that, that had signed up for our event and, and podcast experience that went through the whole year that, you know, all that stuff got taken away. Right. And so, you know, we had to pivot, right. And, and, and when you're being a creative and when you're, when, when you're being an entrepreneur, it's, it's, it's very important that you're able to do that, right? Because if you get stuck and if it has to be a certain way, you might just end up not making anything happen, right? So, we, you know, we did make a couple pivots and I, and I will have to say, um, 
you know, the Cultures Food Project has been has been really interesting for us because, um, you know, I'm, you know, not the, the biggest foodie. I love food, but, you know, I never had really participated in that foodie culture. So it was new for me. Um, I had to kind of dive in and, and, and kind of, you know, pick up on different uh, nuances of that culture. So I, you know, would know how to participate it when we, when we made those, uh, that different kind of content, but it's been really cool working on that project, the Cultures Food Project. If we hadn't checked it out, go check it out. Culturesfood.com. It's cultures food on instagram it's me and my partner tony we tour um all all over Nevada, um, Southern Nevada and Northern Nevada, we explore some of the most incredible epic eateries. Um, and then we film it and, um, you know, we interview the chef and then, um, you know, we give our reviews on it. And and what it is, what, what what's made it interesting for me is it's more than just a foodie show, right? Because, um, you know, I'm a content marketer, right? And and there, there's always, um, there's intent about behind what we do when we create content, how, I, how I'm marketing. And so what we need, what we we needed when we had the events taken away from us is we needed something else right to keep the um, our audience's attention and continue to to grow our audience in, in different directions and um, that's what we came up with right was the foodie thing and the reason why is because you can run Instagram ads on it you're not restricted by cannabis food um, culture and cannabis kind of go all together so it was just like the perfect marriage right for our content model to kind of strike and execute in that in that um, arena so the the culture and cannabis or the, the the culture is food project has been one of my favorite um, projects that we had to work on this year just because we really got to to execute um, our knowledge in the content marketing um, and it's just been really cool to see how it works you know um, so yeah let's check out another questions if we have any here um, looks like somebody said uh, they saw us at acres a few days ago um, when are we guys, when are you going to Oklahoma? So Oklahoma, right? That's a big thing that we keep talking about. It's a theme through our, um, you know, the content that we're making. Um, it's actually where I was born, um, Oklahoma. Um, and you know, that's not really why we're going back. Cause I was born there. Cause I, I haven't been back in so many years. So I don't have a lot of connections over there, but, um, just to, the, the short of it is we're going, we're taking our culture and cannabis brand to our first new market, which is Oklahoma. Um, the first week in October, we still have to get a few deals signed. We have to get, um, just a few more things in place, but we're committed. Um, um, and it looks like we're going to send uh, full-time Tony and our creative director partner uh, Chuck um, up there. And so, what, wh how it's going to be structured, right? Is our plan is um, our whole team is going to go up the first week. So that's uh, Leilani, Joy, and I, Chuck, and Anthony. Uh, that's our core team. We're going to go up as a unit, um, get the rest of our deal signed, um, get everybody kind of you know uh, dug in, ha you know, create our headquarters there. We're basically just going to rent out a, um, an Airbnb for 30 days. Um, we're going to stay for a week. I'm going to help them kind of get situated and get all those relationships that we've kind of started, um, it, you know, get, get them put in gear. Um, and then those guys are going to take it. Uh, Liliani, Joy and I are going to come back to Vegas and run that market. Uh, the, why the, our other two guys are going to be in Oklahoma for, uh, three weeks or actually yeah, four more weeks. And then that last week, Leilani and I uh, will go back out there and we'll just kind of wrap everything up and, um, you know, hopefully be able to kind of put our, our um, you know, all of our relationships, our sales strategy, our event, event strategy, all of our marketing strategy, kind of like on a, a plug and play and be able to go check back in on the Oklahoma, Oklahoma market at least uh, probably twice a month for the, for the first six months. And then we'll move into, you know, once a month as, as it, um, you know, we get a better hold on that market. And, you know, the whole idea is just sprint to that next market, right? And um, the goal is 36 markets, um, excuse me, 15 markets in 36 months, right? So that's three years. We'll be in uh, 15 markets and that'll put us um, the, the number one biggest uh, cannabis event media group in the country, right? And so that is the goal, right? Um, so Oklahoma, here we come. Uh, look out. We're, we have some amazing partners down there. It's going to be incredible. We're going to do um, a, a ton of uh, different content out there. Um, so it, it's going to be great. You know, Oklahoma... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different market, right? The regulations aren't all, all the way there. And, um, 
you know, we're, we're excited to get in, in there and kind of help them with that, right? Because being in Nevada and, and being guys that have worked in, in legal cannabis for, you know, five plus years, um, you know, we're some of the veterans here in the country. So it, it's exciting to be able to, to jump into that new blooming market and, you know, lend our experience and, 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 and help that budding uh, community out there in Oklahoma. But um, let's see if I got, I got time for one more question. Um, see if I can got it on here. Those of you guys just, just ch chiming in. Um, we're live everywhere, live on, on, on YouTube, live on Facebook. We're live right here on my Instagram. Um, it looks like that's, that's probably the last question we'll, we'll dive into, but listen, uh, you know, thanks for checking out the podcast today. Listen, we have in, some incredible things going on. As I said, Tony's up north. We're um, securing some different partnerships up there uh, with some different cultivations. We can better serve our northern dispensary partners uh, in, in Nevada. Um, we're also, um, you know, solidifying our relationship with, with with Serene Nevada, which we're extremely excited about. We're going to uh, be releasing a full line of, of, of concentrates um, and. We're super proud of Serene as a partner. They make incredible products up there. Um, and listen, you know, the events was probably a wrap for us this year, but you can you you can take it to the bank that next year um, I'm going to be like you know an a, a caged animal let out, right? And we're going to be hitting you with some of the biggest baddest events. We're going to remind you guys why, why why some of our experiences are some of the most incredible experiences when it comes to cannabis music, art, culture on the entire West Coast. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys in 2021. Um, but listen, uh, lastly, um, you know, our product line right now, all we offer is, is full flower. Like I said, we're just going to drop the, the, the concentrates, but we have some incredible new, um, an, an infused pre-roll that's probably going to pop out. I'll give you guys just a little, little teaser right there. It's, boom. Be on the lookout for that. But listen, we appreciate everyone's support. Um, it's been incredible, uh, journey the last almost five years. Um, and to, just to think that, you know, we're, you know, I, you know, I moved to, to Vegas with 500 bucks 16 years ago with a hope, prayer and a dream. And it, it's just incredible that, um, you know, what we've been able to build out here. And, uh, it's just an honor to serve the cannabis community, um, as a whole. And, and, and I can't wait to share, um, everything that we've got with the entire country. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, checking into the story because, you know, it's our intention to create one of the best, uh, most, uh, just incredible hustler stories ever created. So, it, you know, none of it's, none of it's possible without you guys. And, uh, listen, I'll just leave you guys with that. I appreciate you guys checking in. Uh, much love. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.